all right hello again everyone so this is uh, another this is another lesson in physics so we will, in this lesson that we will have we will going to discuss uh, the last part of our uh, journey with the application of uh, electromagnetic waves especially in uh, mirrors and lenses so in our discussion we will in this discussion that we will have we will talk about the lens equation so we will uh, discover out how this equation differs from the mirror equation that we encountered last time and together with that we will try to solve some sample problems uh, involving the lens equation and also upon calculating that one we can also calculate here the magnification or the image uh, characteristics of the image form uh, using the lens equation remember the remember uh, the the lost uh, mnemonics that we encountered in the mirror so again we will use that one here to find the characteristics of the image formed using special lenses or lenses that we have right here all right and after the lens equation so we will go or we will move on to a more um applied part of our uh, discussion that we have right here which is the special lenses so we will uh, we will discover out how are this how these special lenses are formed or what is what are these special lenses are okay so with that let's get this over with okay so if you know already how to get the how to get the image of um, image form in a lens using ray diagram so well that's an, uh, that's another way or that's that is one way or one uh, one way of getting the or getting how the image is formed in a particular lens or how the light rays interact in a particular or in a lens all right so but if we are looking for somehow accuracy and uh, accuracy and uh, precision of drawings so ray tracing are somehow uh somehow less uh precise in terms of computing the images or image size or height of the image the magnification of it and the distance of the image on the lens or the lens that you have right there so there is one way of solving this problem this is the lens equation so we can use mathematical problems that uh, we can use mathema or not not really mathematical problems we can use an equation that can uh, find uh, that can find the precise uh, height of the image the precise distance of the image on the lens itself all right so this is the lens equation this is um, similar to your mirror equation if the mirror has ray diagram so as the lens that we have right here all right so let's see in this particular lesson let's see if this lens equation differs from the first equation that we know which is the mirror equation all right let's find out now all right so this is a sort of a review so if you recall the focal length so this is the distance this is the distance from the fo fo focus or the focal point to the center of your lens which is the optical center we call this one as the optical all right optical center Okay, so the distance uh, between those, uh, the focal point and the optical center is called the focal length. Okay, so the focal length is, uh, the focal length depends or, uh, um, depends or the sign of the focal length depends on what kind of lenses are you using. So we have here the converging lens. So a converging lens has positive focal length. All right. Next one, a negative focal length is for diverging lens. All right. So we will summarize this one out so that you uh, you will be able to look up every time that you will compute. You can look up what uh, convention uh, is usually used here in this uh, lens equation. All right. Now, okay. So just like the mirror, we have here the object distance. This is the distance of the object on the 
lens. Alright, so this is the distance. And what we have right here on the other side of the lens, this is the image distance. Alright, so this is the distance that is our, this is the distance in which the image is formed on the lens. Okay, so right. Now, by the way, uh, there are two focal lengths in your lens, alright? So, in, especially we have here the converging lens, there are two focal lengths because there are two focal points, alright? So, still, either either side, uh, the focal length uh, is from the optical center down to the focal point. Now, if you want to compute, uh, compute for the center of curvature, so it's the same thing. So, that will be C is equal to 2 times the focal point. Then, all right. So now, the image distance or the object distance is always positive, just like in your mirror. There is no such thing as negative object distance. That the image distance depends on what kind of lens are you using. Sometimes it is a uh, negative, and sometimes it is a uh, positive uh, distance. All right. So yeah. All right. So. That is for the distance of the object and distance of the image. Now, we have uh, we have something right here uh, in this special case. So we have uh, a virtual image in which the image is formed um, in which the image is formed at the uh, opposite side of your uh, uh, lens that we have right here, and it is an upright object, the same as the position of your original uh, object uh, the original object so this is your uh, object distance or image distance rather and the original object distance is here so as you can see this is a virtual image so virtual image image all right so in this uh, in this statement a negative a negative distance or a, ne a negative image distance is uh, a virtual image so the one that we have right here negative is for virtual then positive is for real image real image just like what we have discussed in the mirror real image are always uh, upside down uh, and yeah so one of the characteristics of a real image is always upside down they are always inverted all right so let's have this question now let's uh, let's uh, let's see if you get my first uh, discussion about this lesson that we have right here which quantities are negative in this example all right so why is the answer a and b it's because only the distance of the image and the focal length can be or can differ because they have uh, they have sign convention. So, sometimes focal length can be negative and image distance also can be negative depending on what kind of lens are you using. Alright, so that's the reason why the answer here is letter D. Okay, next. Okay, now the first uh, equation that we have right here. So, are you familiar with this equation? So, if you are familiar, yes, this is the lens equation. So, uh, it's the same thing, just um, it looks like an X. So, it's, it's similar to your D sub O and we have D sub I. Alright, so it's the same thing with your mirror equation. Now, it is uh, this particular equation is used if you want to compute or if you want to find out the focal length of your uh, lens, if you want to find out the distance of the image, and if also you want to find out the original distance of the object. Alright, so those variables are computed using this formula that we have right here. Again, it looks like the mirror equation because lens equation and mirror equation is the same. Okay, so let's put it to good use. Alright, so given in this particular uh, problem, we have 10 cm. The focal length is 10 cm. Then the object is placed at 15 cm in front of a lens. So this is your distance of the object. So don't be confused with x sub o. It's similar with your d sub o. Alright, so they are the same. Alright, next one. Find where the image is and it's, is it virtual or real? Alright, so... Alright, so we'll do the arithmetic here. So the answer is 
30 cm. So, the distance of the image is positive. Alright, so the distance of the image is positive. So, therefore, this is a converging uh, lens. Alright, so this is a converging lens. This is somehow a virtual image. Alright, so this is a virtual image. So, positive. Or rather, uh, this is not a virtual image, so positive. So, meaning to say that this is a real. Yeah, right. I forgot. I forgot the convention about this one. So, positive distance of the image that is a real image. Alright, so that's it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what we have right here, the image distance is negative. Yeah. So, just like we are, we are talking about earlier. Yeah. Okay. Now, in, uh, if you want to know the magnification of your image, so, yeah, are you familiar with this equation? So, of course it is, because it's the, it's the same with your mirror equation. So, it's the same with the mirror equation. So, what, alright, so, instead of using H, they, they use S. Uh, don't be confused, this is the same as H sub I, or height of the image, and this one is the same as H sub O. Now, this one is D sub I, the negative is still there, then we have the D sub O, and then either of the two can be used to compute for the magnification. Now, are the convention for the magnification answer is the same? Are they the same with the mirror equation? Let's let's find out. All right. So in this equation that we have right here, or in this uh, problem that we have right here, the 30 cm that we got earlier from the image distance is divided to 15 cm. So the answer is two together with the negative sign that we have right here. So the magnification is negative two x. Alright, so negative 2x. So, what does it mean? So, the negative 2, so negative magnification means inverted image and if the image is inverted, so that is a real image. Alright, so image is real. Okay, and also the value that we have right here, this is greater than 1, so the value is greater than 1, so therefore this is a, uh, the image is enlarged. Alright, so the image is enlarged, enlarged, real, and inverted. Alright, so that's the, uh, that's one example. Alright, so let's go for another example for the lens equation. Alright, so this time, the focal length is 10. The focal length is 10 and the distance of the object is 5 from the lens. Alright, so... What do we have right here? We do again the arithmetic. So we, we do the arithmetic uh, process. So the answer that we got is negative 10 cm. So what does a negative sign mean? So negative sign means virtual image. So this is a virtual image. Yeah. So the image is virtual because it is negative. Alright. So probably, probably we can conclude that if it is a virtual, probably the image is uh, upright. Okay. So next one. Yeah. And this is one example that we have right here. This is a diverging lens. Okay. This is the diverging lens. The one that we have on the first example, the one that we have right here, this one. The one, uh, the lens that shapes, uh, that shape, shape like this, this is a converging lens. Converging lens. Why is it converging lens? Because as you can see, the light rays converge here. Alright, so the light rays tends to converge here. Meanwhile, but on the diverging lens, as you can see on this ray diagram that we have, the rays are being uh, diverge. That's why the, it, it's, it is called diverging lens. Or should I say double, double concave lens. This one is double convex lens. Double double convex lens. Alright, so that is your two types of lenses. So we have double convex and they have we have double concave. And for the equation, well, basically, if you know the mirror equation, it's the same thing as the mirror equation. Now, let's see. Uh, let's summarize all the conventions that we have encountered so far. So, again, the D sub O is... Uh, 
the disavow is always positive. Do not, uh, do not dare to uh, put it in negative sign. Alright, so the disavow is always, uh, the disavow positive is for real and negative is for the virtual. Next one, for the focal length, if it is positive, that is converging. Just take note of that. If it is positive, that is converging. But if it is negative, that is diverging tense. Now, with, uh, if we take a look at the height of the object, so always, just like the distance of the object, there's no such thing as negative height of the object because that is the actual object that you are po uh, putting on the lens. Alright? So, for the height of the image, Alright, so for the height of the image, so we have it upright if it is positive, and we have it inverted if it is uh, negative. Now, uh, for the convention of magnification, so what we have right here, if it is upright, automatic, it is virtual. There's no such thing as upright inverted, or ra ra rather than upright real. There's no such thing like that. So, if you see already in the magnification that it is upright, automatic, that is virtual image and if it is inverted automatic that is real image so real image is an inverted um, image all right so that's it so what do we have right here um we go now to the application of these uh, lenses that we have in this particular uh lesson that we are discussing right now. Now, one example of uh, lens is the ball lens ret uh, retro reflector. So, what is this? Now, if you happen to see some uh, mist uh, or water droplets clinging on the leaf, just like what we have right here, or they are clinging on a twig, yeah, and so. Yeah, that is a ball lens retro reflector. So, if we take a look at it in a more uh, realistic view, so it looks like this. So, the uh, this this one becomes or the water droplet becomes a uh, converging uh, becomes a converging lens. Okay, so the image is upright. So therefore, this the image that is formed there is somehow virtual. Okay, so the image form is virtual. So next one. Okay, safety and you know, safety application of lenses, the glass beads that can be attached through uh, street uh, street posts that we have right here, uh, dress also in uh, bicycles, yeah, and for safety purposes. Okay, next one. Okay, uh, we have here Fresnel lens. Okay, so I will tell you I will tell you a story about this Fresnel lens. So what is this Fresnel lens? Actually, Fresnel lens is uh, it originates as a converging lens. So this is uh, the original Fresnel lens. This it is a typical converging lens, but uh, there's a problem when they use a converging lens uh, in lighthouse. What happens is the light rays become scattered. Alright, so the light rays become scattered or the light rays goes everywhere. Alright, so so the problem is uh, the light rays doesn't go in one path. So that is a problem during that time. Now, to solve that problem, what Fresnel do, alright, what Fresnel do in a converging lens is he put some, um, he put some uh, grooves on the lens instead of uh, pure, uh, pure convex form. Then after that, he made the, the lens thin and he made the other side, the other side of the lens that you have right here, he made it flat instead of a typical convex one. So you have now a flat on the other side and you have now a group uh, part of the lens on the other side so what happened here is the light now is not any more scattered the light rays are now concentrated into one uh, straight line so if you happen to look or if you happen to see a lighthouse the light of your lighthouse is a straight line from its source so this is the this is the reason or this is the solution uh, did by Fresnel in order to make the light go in a straight line. Okay, so very ingenious, isn't it? Alright, next one. Okay, 
Another application of lens, so as you can see, this is the Fresnel lens. Uh, this is an actual lighthouse. Yeah. Another one is the old uh, projector. So this is the multimedia projector, or the old projector that we know. We put here the the plastic film, yeah, with uh, writings on it, so that it can be projected on a screen. All right. Next one. Yeah. So another application of lenses is uh, reading glasses. All right. So reading glasses. So if the if the reading glass, all right, if the reading glass is labeled from negative twenty to negative zero point zero five, so that is negative zero point zero five. That is a uh, um, near sighted. Yeah. That is a near sighted for near sighted people nearsighted all right so if you happen to see a glass or if you happen to see a reading glass which is rated as from positive 20 to positive 0 0.05 that is for far sighted patients all right far sighted okay so uh, yeah so reading glasses are also uh, using lenses another one microscope telescope yeah uh, cameras yeah so those are some sample applications of the lenses that we have right here okay so with that let's go now to the sample problems all right so in this sample problem that we have right here we will going to use the lost uh, mnemonic that we have right here so the lost mnemonic okay so now let's read the problem a pen is in front of a converging lens so meaning to say uh, whatever focal length that we have right here it is a uh, positive one okay so we have a converging lens and has a focal length of 17.3 uh, cm the real image is located at 19.62 cm from the lens determine the distance of the original object from the lens all right so uh, let's see okay so the image though is uh the image is real all right so meaning to say that uh this image is uh is positive all right okay so okay so let's solve for the no let's solve for the okay let's solve for the Okay, let's solve for the distance of the object. So, what do we have right here? Okay, so we have uh, the focal length which is um, 17.3. So, that is positive So because it is converging. So, 7.3 cm. Alright, so next one. Alright, next one is uh, the... Mm -hmm. Okay, so the image distance. Right, so the image distance so that is real. So meaning to say that is a uh, positive uh, value. So we have 19.62 cm. So we are asked to find out what is the distance of the object. All right, so there we go. Okay, so let's compute for the distance of the object. So very easy problem. So we were going to use 1 over f is equal to 1 over d sub o then uh minus or plus one over d sub i again uh my my drawing pad is acting strangely yeah so so in this problem so we will just um we'll just uh substitute everything so we have uh one over we are looking for one over d sub o is equal to um, one over d sub o so all right so we have here one over uh, d sub o so one over d sub o one over d sub o is equal to okay one over uh, d sub i minus one over f yeah so this is the formula that we were going to use all right so let's put it right here so we have uh, one over d sub o is our uh, one all right or one over d sub o is equal to 1 over d sub i 1 over uh, 19.62 minus 1 over 17.3 uh, yeah. there we go okay so 
Now, let's compute. So, we have here 19.63 okay, times 17.3 over alright, so over 19.63 minus uh, 17.3 alright, so the answer here is yan, so let's use our, our ano, handy dandy calculator 19.63 times uh, 17.3 m so okay, so that is okay so we have here three three nine four five nine uh, five nine nine over okay so we have all right so we have uh nineteen nineteen point sixty three minus seventeen point or seventeen point three so we have two point thirty three so three three nine point five nine nine over 2.33 so the answer is 100 all right so the answer here is for the distance of the object so that is 146 yeah all right so we have it 146 uh, let me rewrite it again so because my you know so that is 146 cm all right so so what does it tells us that the distance or the the uh, the object uh, image is somehow all right so the object image is somehow real and this is somehow inverted right so that is inverted and the type of the image is real and the image is uh, somehow uh, being uh, reduced right because the distance of the image all right, so the distance of the image is, uh, or the distance of the object is greater than the distance of the image. So, meaning to say that the distance of the image is reduced. And um, probably, all right, so probably, uh, okay, probably that we have right here is uh, the, the location of the image is on the, mm -hmm. all right, so, okay, so I think the location of the image is in between between all right so between c and f yeah between c and f how did i get that so i multiplied the focal length i multiplied the focal length by two so two times f so the answer there is uh greater than the distance of the image so meaning to say that the location of the image is in between c and f respectively all right so there we go Okay, next problem. Alright, so a ring is placed at a distance of 3.9 cm from a converging lens. The virtual image was located uh, 24.56 cm from the lens. What is the local, uh, what is the focal length of your, uh, what is the focal length of the lens that we are talking here? Alright, so let's uh, write down all the values that we have right here. So we have uh, distance of the object. Okay, so the distance of the object is 3.9 cm. Okay, so that is the 3.9 cm. Okay, so next one. Alright, so the image is virtual, so meaning to say that this is uh, this e this image is negative. Alright, distance of the image is uh, again. Let me rewrite this one again. Alright, so we have it. Uh, we have it. 3.9 alright 3.9 cm alright so the distance of the image is uh, 24.56 um, 56 uh, cm so that is negative yeah 24.56 cm so negative because that is a virtual image so what is the focal length of your Lens. All right. So converging. So meaning to say, uh, if we are talking about a converging image or converging lens, so probably the answer that we will get right here is a negative one. All right. So a negative one, or should I say, hmm, 
Okay, so let's compute. Alright, so in this uh, in this problem, we were going to use 1 over f is equal to uh, 1 over uh, d sub o plus 1 over d sub a. Okay, so let's uh, no, let's uh, punch in the volume. So we have 1 over f is equal to uh, 1 over... Uh, okay, so we have 3.9. Okay, we have 3.9 plus uh, 1 over, right, what's the distance? We have 24.56. Okay, so we have, okay, so we have focal length, which is uh, 3.9 times uh, 24.56 over 3.9 plus 24.56 Alright, let's solve So we have 3.9 times 24.56 Okay, so that will be uh, The answer will be um, Around um, Right, around 95 point, Right, 95.784 Okay, so Okay, let me rewrite it again. So we have um, 95.784. Okay, so next, uh, the one below, 3.9. So don't forget that one here is negative. So 3.9, right, plus negative 24.6. Okay, so the answer is uh, negative 20. Point uh, six six. All right. So, what will be the focal length? So the focal length is ninety five point seven eight four over uh, twenty point. Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot. Uh, we have here uh, as well as negative. So we have here for the multiplication part the negative. So it is also negative. So the two negatives will cancel out. So, the two negatives will cancel out. So, 95.784 over 20.66. So, the answer is 4.63. Right. So, we have here a focal length which is 4.63. Yeah. Alright. So, we have a 4.63 cm. Okay. So, that is your... Focal length. So that is positive. Uh, let's see if it is following the convention rule. Alright, positive. Okay, so positive focal length is uh, positive focal length is uh, convex lens or uh, converging lens. We are correct. Alright, next one. Okay, so let's have the third uh, sample problem. Okay, so. Alright, determine the image distance and the image height for a 16.3 tall object placed 24 cm from a converging lens, having a focal length of uh, 12 cm. Alright, so focal length is uh, the focal length is uh, for the converging lens is positive, so we don't have any problems with the positive focal length. Now the image height is uh, missing and the image uh, height of the object is also uh, given here and also for the uh, distance of the object so let's see all right so focal length is 12 cm and we have uh, the distance of the object which is uh, 24 cm okay next one uh, what do we have right here uh, the height of the image is uh, 16.3 cm okay so okay so what we uh what are what formula are we going to use so we will going to use the formula here uh one one over uh one over f okay and uh one over f is equal to one over uh d sub o plus uh Alright, so 1 over d sub o plus 1 over d sub i. Okay, so, and aside from this formula that we have right here, we will go into use the magnification equation. So, we have magnification is equal to height of the image minus uh, distance of the image over distance of the object is equal to height of the uh, image over height of the object. 
Alright, so let's uh, let's compute for this one. Okay, so let's substitute everything that we have right here. So we have uh, distance uh, distance of the image. Uh, we are looking for the distance of the image. So we have distance of the image is equal to uh, huh. okay, what do we have right here? So we have uh, 24, 1 over the 24 plus uh, minus rather 1 over the focal length which is uh, 12. Okay, right, so basically we have this sub i, so we have 24 times 12 over 24 minus 12. Alright, so technically we will going to get an answer here of 288 over uh, 20 or 12 rather. Alright, so we have 288 over 12, that is 24. Right, so we have 24. So what does it mean? The distance of the image. So the distance of the image is positive and that is 24 cm. So that is positive. So meaning to say it is a real uh, image. So this is a real image. Alright, next one. Uh, let's compute for the... Alright, so let's compute for the height of the image. Now, uh, since we don't need the magnification, so we are not looking for the magnification, we can rearrange the formula. Uh, we can rearrange the formula that we have right here. We have uh, height of the image. Height of the image. Right, height of the image is equal to... Alright, so D sub i. Don't forget the negative. D sub i times H sub o over... Uh, H or so rather D sub O yeah okay so D sub I times H sub O over D sub O so if we substitute the value here alright so if we substitute the value here that we have uh, we have uh, the distance of the image which is uh, 24 times the height of the object which is uh, 16.3 over yeah over the distance of the object of 24. So the answer will be Alright, so cancel the 224 the Cancel 224. So we have 16.3 cm. So that is the height of the image Now what does it mean? So negative 16 point uh, Negative 16.3 cm. So what does it mean? So negative means uh, the image is inverted the image is inverted and take a look at the height of the image. It is equal to the height of the object. So meaning to say there is no changes or there is no changes with the height. So it means that the object is the same height. Alright, so the same. So it is not reduced, it is not enlarged. Alright, so it is real, inverted, the same as the original object. Alright, next one. Alright, this is the last uh, sample problem that we have in this uh, in this uh, topic that we have right here. So, determine the magnification image for an object placed 6.39 cm from a diverging lens having a focal length of 18.6 cm. Now, as we all know, the convention for the diverging lens is uh, the focal length is negative. Alright, so this value that we have right here is a negative. So, magnification for the image of for an object which is placed at 6.39 cm. Okay, so what do we do here? <coughs> First thing to do is to write the values. Okay, so we have here a negative 18.6 cm. Okay, so what uh, what's next? Image for an object place okay so this is distance of the object that is 6.39 cm okay 6.39 uh, cm so that is your distance of the object so let me rewrite it again so that uh, you will be able to understand clearly so we have the focal length okay the focal length so the focal length is Alright, so the focal length is uh, Alright, so the focal length is uh, negative 18.6 cm okay. 
right so negative 18.6 cm so we have um, uh, the distance of the object is uh, 6.39 cm all right so if we're going to use uh, the formula that we will going to use here is the the computation for the for, uh, for the distance of the image so we have 1 over d sub o minus or plus 1 over d sub i Okay, and for the magnification, since the uh, magnification is being asked on the problem, so we have, uh, alright, so magnification is equal to m is equal, uh, m is equal to negative distance of the image over distance of the object is equal to uh, height of the image is equal to or over height of the object since the height is uh, not uh, is not uh, given here so we can now uh, cancel this one out okay leaving the distance of the image over distance of the object negative sign all right so let's compute so what do we have here okay so what do we have here is uh, the 1 over f right so 1 over 1 over f or rather uh, 1 over d sub i hmm. 1 over d sub i is equal to 1 over d sub o minus 1 over f all right so we have uh, 1 over d sub i is equal to uh, what is the d sub o all right so the d sub o is 6.39 so 1 over 6.39 minus uh, 1 over the focal length of negative 18.6 okay so let's compute so we are looking for yeah we are looking for the uh, distance of the image so we have uh, 6.39 times negative 18.6 over 6.39 times or rather, okay, let me rewrite it again, 6.39 minus 18.6. So, we have here the negative. Yeah. Okay, so let's do the math. Okay, uh, 6.39 6 times 18.6, so that will be 118. So, 118.85. Four over eight. Uh, so so the negative will be cancelled out. Yeah. So it will be added six point thirty nine plus eighteen point six. So that will be twenty four point twenty four point ninety nine. All right. So what will be the distance of the image? Right. So one eighteen. Wait. I uh, forgot the negative sign here. Yeah. Okay. So. 0.854 over 24.99. So the answer is yeah, negative right, negative uh, 475 4.75 cm. So the answer is uh, alright, so the answer is negative. So distance of the image is negative 4.75 cm. Right. So the answer is negative. So it means that it is a virtual image. So virtual image. Now let's uh, compute for the magnification. So the magnification is a uh, negative. So the d sub i is negative 4.75 over the distance of the object which is uh, 6.39. Alright, so let's do that. So we will cancel out the negative sign. Okay, so we have 4.75 over uh, 6.39. So the answer is for the magnification, for the magnification that is positive 0 0.70. Alright, so positive. Okay, so that is. Um, Mm -hmm. okay. So that is m is equal to positive uh, 0. 0. 0.74x. So the answer is positive. 
So the answer of the on the magnification is positive. So therefore, it is upright. So if it is upright, virtual. All right. What happened to the image? It is reduced because the the magnification is less than one, and the distance of the image is 4.75 cm. And with that. That ends up our uh, discussion for the lens equation. So, I hope you did learn something from this uh, particular discussion. If you didn't, uh, if you have something to, you know, if you have a uh, part on this discussion that uh, uh, in you for, uh, for you, if you want to ask something that you are having hard time uh, understanding on this particular discussion, please do um, write it down in the comment section of this video and with that that ends up our discussion for the lens equation goodbye and let's see uh, each other again later okay so sit